want you to finish 2020 strong so we, you and I, can start 2021 stronger. All right. Now, simply, it is time for us to reflect about what we did do and what we didn't do this year and ask ourselves, well, why didn't we achieve what we set out to achieve and what can we do for the rest of this year to possibly achieve it or what should we be doing next year, all right? So it's time to stop. Let me say this right now because some young love, well, COVID messed me up and COVID did this. Listen, COVID is real, all right? COVID uh, prevented me from making some money as well this year. COVID impacted my family. COVID just has has jacked up everyone in the world. I don't care if you make $10,000 a year or $10 million a year. Everyone felt the impact. But it's time for us to stop blaming COVID for everything that happened to us in 2020. Because here's the truth. Some of the things that have impacted us had nothing to do with COVID. It had everything to do with the decisions we made. Yeah, I said, all right? COVID, yes, impacted some things. But before COVID, what decision did you make in January with your money that if you would not have made that decision, you would be in a little better situation today? So we can't blame COVID for everything, all right? It's time to start taking responsibility for our life. And look at me. I'm not saying for your life. I'm not putting everything on you because this is the this is the table. Your boy keeps it real. So there are some things that I could have done better this year as well. So this is you and I. We are family. So I don't want you to think I'm only talking to you. I'm talking to you and myself. So together, over these next three months, we're going to look back at our goals. We're going to look back um, at our vision and see what can we still achieve this year. All right? There is still time to reach some of your money goals. If you're working a debt snowball and you're making all your minimum payments and all your debt, what's that smallest one? If it's a $500 credit card, you've got enough time to pay that one off. Now, you may not finish all your debt this year, and I totally understand that, but y'all check this out. You can still get one. One done. Maybe two. There is still time to get in shape, lose some weight, get that six-pack, get that body right and tight. But there's still time to get up every single morning, hit the gym. There's still time to get out there and to run. There's still time to change your diet. You can do a lot in 90 days when it comes to your health and your body. There's still time to read a book once a month and to grow your business, your mind. Because you all know every single time I get a chance, I tell you, our mind is our number one asset. It's our number one asset. So listen, there's still time. Cut off Netflix for a while. Cut off, cut off Hulu for a while. Cut off Disney Plus for a while. Cut off, cut off distractions. Instead of for falling asleep with your phone in your pocket, instead of for falling asleep, you looking at the TV, instead of you falling asleep gossiping about what she did, what she didn't do, what he did, what he didn't do. No, put something into your mind. Read a book. Listen to a podcast. Do something. There's still time, brothers. Because he who finds a wife finds his best thing. There's still time to ask that lady out on the date. And I ain't gonna front. I asked somebody out on the date. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> There's still time to make new friends, quality friends. Remember, we want four quarters instead of 100 pennies. We want quality people around us. Y'all, check this out. There is still time to grow and to develop a quality and a peaceful and a joyful relationship with Jesus Christ. I know some of y'all who watch my show are like, man, Anthony, y'all was talking about Jesus. Always talking about tithing. I sure am. And if you don't like them, you, you don't like me. So you can unfollow me. You can unsubscribe from your boy. Because I am not perfect. 
Jesus is still working on me. He's still working on my mouth. He's still working on my mind. And so listen, um, I, I'm not sitting here saying that I'm perfect, but I would definitely sit here and say, Jesus Christ is the head of my life. And I believe that there is still time for you and I both to get closer to Jesus in the year 2020. How do we do that? We should be reading our word. How do we do that? We should be praying. How do we do that? We should be giving. How do we do that? Anthony, we should be listening more to him. We should be loving our neighbors no matter the color of their skin. How do we get closer to Jesus Christ? We should be trying to live like Christ. We can never be Christ. We can never be like Christ, but we should be striving to love our neighbors. We should be striving to be good stewards of our resources. We, we, we should be striving to live out the purpose that he has given all of us.